Hi everybody, it's Chazin with Chazin's Canine's Ed. And we have Charlie here and Henry. Henry Bear, Charlotte. And um, we have a fear fear case. Also, he's he's gotta get more confidence, you know what I mean? He's stubborn, just he does what he wants, and now at four years old, he's like, alright man, now I gotta do what I don't wanna do. Like what the heck? For the longest he's just been able to just go off leash. But his thing. When you need your untrained dog who's off leash to come, he looks at you like, I'm not coming to you. You know what I mean? So, um, you, you're going to see firsthand. He wants to go back inside and uh, he, he doesn't want any part of training right now. So I want, I need to make this as fun as possible and as cool as possible. That little shake right there is shaking off the jitters or shaking off the, uh, anxiety or fear or whatever. Here you have Charlotte. You guys just missed it. She just bomb rushed their uh the neighbor. They have an escape artist slash just random aggression. Uh and more times than not, it's territorial. She's not a bad girl. She's not an aggressive girl. She's just very territorial and very dominant. You know, so we gotta teach her how to do this. She's one of my first clients. And if I show you some of her tricks, again before, she didn't know none of this. Now, if I say down, she's got the verbal command. I don't even have to tell her down anymore. Now, when I say sit, she listens to you. Verbal command, right? Down, good girl, boy, good girl. Break, back to bear. Yes, bear. You just want a very high pitch. Come on, good job. The worst thing you want to do right now is go over to him and rub him and pet him. Because what happens when you pet what happens when you say, good girl, good girl, when your dog's doing a good job, you pet them, and we comfort them, and we say, you're doing good. Now what is this doing? This is telling Charlotte she's being a good girl. She's happy. She's confident. She's 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 um excited. She's working. Sit. Good girl. Yes, good sit. Yeah, good girl. The wagon. Look, here he goes. He's hearing all the positive. It's good that you have two. If you have two dogs, Show the scared dog that this is not a bad thing. Get the dog that's more confident and love on him. Talk really high. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Here he comes. Good boy. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Yes, get low. Good boy. Yes, good job, bear. Yes. So right now we're doing reward-based and positive-based training. Too much negative would probably be a, a negative effect with this guy. With this very confident female, the way she just bomb rushed this guy's truck, she needs negative. She can handle it. You know what I mean? As a parent, if you are parents watching, some kids you can ground for a week and they can handle that. Some some kids you can only ground for 10 minutes because that's all they can handle. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much it. You want to take each case by take take each case by case. Look. Check this out. The boy Henry Bear. I'm paying with praise. Sometimes, if they're so anxious, they won't even take a treat. Good boy! He took a treat. First time of the day. I've been here for about 30 minutes, and uh, I've been struggling to get him to just go into the field. Because he knows when he's with me, he does things that's fearful. But he, when he overcomes those fears, he says, oh, wow, it's not so bad. And then it's cool. You know what I mean? So he's looking for me to, for, he's looking to me for guidance. And I had to work on that. You know, you can't rush these dogs. You can't rush these fear-based dogs. You have to slowly but surely take an inch, but don't let them run. Dogs know two things, fight or flight. If they can't fight away the fear, which is, then they're going to run. Either way, if your dog wins, they don't learn, okay? So I'm not gonna let him go in his, where he's comfortable. We're gonna go for a walk, and we're gonna have a good time. And once we get out there, he says, oh wow, this is actually good. He's not fearful anymore. But I wanted to show you guys this. Practically, I have his leash on. Come on, bear, come on. Good boy, bear. Yes, hand motions. Good boy, bear, good boy, yes. Good boy, yes. Lots of praise, come on. Good boy, bear, yes. We're gonna figure that out. I wanna go back home. 
for the least pop. Come on. Good boy, Bear. Yay. Good boy. We're going for a walk. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Now I got him. That's how you would deal with it, guys. Now I got him. Good boy, Bear. Yeah. Good boy. Act like they want a championship when they do something good. Good job, Charlie. She's so ready to go. She's like, dude, Bear, come on. Let's go. The big bro, he just takes a little longer, you know? So again, comment if you guys have any questions on that. Um, that's all I really want to touch on. What happens when your dog is fearful? Last thing you want to do is pet him when he's afraid. Why am I petting him? Well, he's not afraid anymore. He's here, he's listening, he's sitting. I'm praising that. Good boy. If he were to cower away, tail goes back in, back in between his legs, he's going to run away. I don't praise it. I don't say, oh, good boy. Because again, dogs don't understand the difference between you petting them for praise and comfort. It's all praise. It's all fun. It's all love. Okay? Well, we can't encourage fear. And that's what the majority of us do when our dogs are scared, we pet them. And, and we don't even know that we're accidentally praising them for fear. Okay? So now he's getting praised for being a good boy. I can walk away from him and say, Here you come. I'm being fearful again. Watch this. I can't let him run. Good oh boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy, Henry. Yes. Yes. Good boy. So he got a little correction there. I stepped on his leash. He got to the end of the leash. And I timed Henry come right after the pop. So I'm letting him know that he can't run away. Okay? He can't run away. And he doesn't like that. He's like, I can do whatever I want. Now he just can't. Good boy, Henry. Good boy. The tail is not quite under. It's low. It's not as confident as I would like. But it's not curled up. Good boy, Henry. Yeah, good boy, Henry. Yeah, good boy. Stop. Yes, good boy, Henry. See how smart he is? That one little correction is all I, all I really needed. And again, with these fear-based dogs, little correction. Too much correction, too much negative reinforcement, they're going to go the opposite direction. But you have to correct the behavior you don't like. You just have to have level them. Again, with this guy, he has a prong collar. He's huge. You know what I mean? If you have a little dog and they're scared, you might not even need the prong collar. But here's the thing. There has to be levels. And you know your dog, how much how much Charlie sit. Good girl. We got her eyeball in trucks again. I got to make sure my girl is focused. Good girl. She thinks she's a guard dog. Which technically, Pyrenees is our guard. They guard their land. You know what I mean? Good boy, Bear. Would you like a treat too? But like I was saying, we want to make sure that you don't want to praise the fear. And you want to make sure that you get that correction when he's being afraid. You want to correct fear. So he learns, oh, I'm actually doing something wrong. Good stand. Good boy, Bear. Good boy. Good boy. Can you sit, Bear? Good sit, Bear. Yes. Good sit. That's it, guys. Hit him, Bear. Let's go. Good boy!